Okay, so this is the Predator chipper shredder from Harbor Freight. And as you can see, I had it shipped. It came by FedEx. Um, there's some problems here. You can see the engine hanging out. This is all smashed up all the way up. Part sticking out of the box here. It's not even sitting level. So, I'm not sure if that's a Harbor Freight thing or if that's a FedEx thing. But I'll tell you what, I waited two weeks for this thing to be delivered. Not happy with the packaging by any means. The stores were out of stock and every time I asked Harbor Freight when they'd be getting one in, they'd tell me they didn't know. I said, well, did you order any? Yeah, we've got them on order, but we don't know when they're going to come in. So I ordered one online and uh, got it a day earlier than the truck would have arrived at the local store. So this is the shape that it came in. We're going to cut it open and see how badly beat up it is. So this is the inside of the box. Uh, it's got wooden slats in here for a makeshift crate so I don't know if the damage is basically from Harbor Freight or FedEx like I said but if you look at the front of the uh, chipper shredder it's actually pushing this cardboard forward because there's no support coming across like there is on this side so it's either busted or whatever but it's actually sticking out of the box here so we're gonna proceed and hope that there's no serious damage I mean I'm already seeing bent corners and chipping paint here which is not a good sign but we'll we'll see we'll get it built see if it runs if not we'll be taking it back and we'll be complaining for sure so far this is my first disappointment with Harbor Freight but I guess it's to be expected eventually with every company So I'm standing back quite a ways. Finally got the damn thing running. Um, so I think they sent me a used shredder. I opened it up and the, everything looked clean except there was wood chips in it. And uh, some of the bolts were already stripped on the back side of the chipper. So I went to go start it up and uh, we had some issues. It was like bogging down. So I went ahead, checked the oil level, and I only put in a little bit of oil and it was overflowing. It was too much oil in there so I couldn't get compression in the engine. So I went to go drain some and I put in brand new oil. This is what came out. See all that black, dark, cloudy stuff? That's what came out of the engine. I know that if I was to take it back, they would tell me that that's just uh, break-in shipping oil, but that that's disgusting. That is not packing or shipping oil. I can tell you that for sure. I mean, that, that looks like bad news right there. Uh, the stuff I put in was absolutely clear. So whatever they got going on with this machine, um, I'm not too happy about it. I don't want to take it in because I kind of need it. So I'm going to use it and see what happens. The blades and everything look like they're in decent shape. It's running smooth at the moment, but it took a while to fire. Um, so I'm going to give you an update in a little bit. It's got to break in for three hours. Uh, no load for five minutes, but I'm going to let it run as long as I can get it as close to that three hours, maybe an hour or two today, and then another hour tomorrow, and then hopefully you guys start using it tomorrow afternoon. So I'll get you updated. All right, stay tuned.